Hello, my friends. It's Pam with Silver and Sparkles. And um, I have had such a hard time keeping this a secret, but I'm finally ready to show you guys uh, my new paper kit. So this one's a little different. I'm calling this one Merry Trees and Stars um, because it's full of Christmas trees and stars. There you go. Um, so the inspiration of this kit was how much I really love Christmas trees. If you guys haven't figured that out, they're probably my most favorite um, part of the Christmas decorations and traditions and things. And so I made a kit um, that has some really sweet images um, and I'm going to show you the papers that are in the kit and there's a freebie um, a one-page freebie that gives you an idea of the color palette of this kit and then we're going to make some 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 things with it and I'll show you a little bit more about it so there's including the freebie there's 10 pages and there's different size trees and stars and different um, patterns and colors and so I know these sweet, I, I think they're super cute, little Christmas fairies are not everybody's cup of tea. So if it's not yours, hold on, there's something for you too. But I have several of the trees that have some of these images, okay? And I have a few words here and there um, so that you have some things to embellish with. But then I also, so um, for example, like here, you can see it's that same tree, but without the fairy. So if you want some just plain trees, Got, I've got you covered. And again, I'm going to do a lot of layering with mine so it works well too. But um, there's plenty that don't have the little fairies on them in case that's really not your thing. You can always still use this and put something on top of it, you know, layer something on top of it if you don't want, if you don't want the fairy. But I think they're cute. Look at these. How sweet is that? And I have... Um, I'm very blessed to have quite a few um, good friends in my life, but I have two of my closest friends are my roommates from college. I've mentioned them before, especially my girlfriend who's lost her, her parents this last year, but we were always, um, we went to a college, um, Meredith in Raleigh, North Carolina. It was all women and it, they're known as the Meredith Angels and there were the three of us and so I love these two that have the images of the three fairies or the three little angels so anyway there you go and um white Christmas silent night like I said I tried to I this one has have yourself a merry little Christmas I tried to give you some different things and then I just did a faux um kind of washi tape strip idea with some of the colors um, that you find throughout the kit and a little bit of music sheet. So you can print this full size and then tear these strips into whatever size you want to use them. You can print them at a smaller percentage um, and do something with them that way too. But this is the freebie that'll be available on Buy Me A Coffee link to the kit, the link to the one page freebie, all of that will be in the description of the video. I hope you guys will go check it out. I really appreciate your support of my Etsy shop and um, my business. So it really, it really helps. Okay. So this one, I just used one of the larger trees and then I layered some of the stars and put this lovely fluffy ribbon on there. And I think it turned out great. This one I glued, um, two of the trees together, added words. I left the, the tree trunk on that one. I thought it looked good. Just put a little loop of a ribbon there. It can be tied on. I used my star punch. There aren't any stars this size in the kit, but I just punched one out because I wanted a tiny star for this tree. Um, this one is one of my favorites. I attached this one with a little eyelet, um, layered a star, used three of the trees and um, I just think it will make just a lovely um, journal topper, uh, tie onto a gift, um, include in a card, something like that. Give, give it to somebody instead of a card, right? <laughs> Any of those ideas. Um, I love this one too. I didn't add ribbon to this one, but I did add that really fun blingy um, brad to it. And again, it has three trees. 
I just kind of wanted to get those layers going. And you could glue these all the way down or leave them a little loose like I did. And then here, I just layered a several of the stars. I actually cut the strips apart and then layered them together to make a card so it has more texture and different um, widths. Um, these print at one inch wide and I wanted them a little more narrow. So anyway, I just love that and this is gonna be a great um, tag or journaling card. And then I have this one sitting over here because I didn't wanna mess up the um, liquid pearls. This one is just a star that I made that I think is really pretty and is gonna look great in a journal pocket or on a journal page to decorate. So there's lots of stars, lots of trees, lots of things to play with. I hope you guys are as excited as I am. I just think these could not be any cuter. But again, not everyone's into the little angels or the fairies or whatever. And so I was going to, um, I've got some already cut out, some of the trees and some of the, the, the little pieces and some stars. And I was just going to put one or two, we'll see, together. Um and give you some ideas. One thing that I was thinking that would look really cute would be to um, layer a couple of the trees and then do a big star with some fun, pretty ribbon right there in the middle. Now, one of these, let me show you which one. This one, when I layered them, I just left the trunk on the bottom layer and I, I cut them off. So, you know, think about the different ways you want you want yours to look. I think for this one, so I also want some of the music. Um, maybe we'll do a similar where I kind of layer, bring one down and one up. And by the way, whenever I'm making a new kit, and like I said, I've been working on this one for quite a while, um... I do a lot of test prints because sometimes I'm trying to get things to fit on the page and then they don't print correctly. And I'm using a bunch of my test prints because they're they're fine, but they're not perfect. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm happy with where the digitals are now and that when they print, um, I don't like cut off little tips of the stars or something, um, which happened to me um, when I was first designing the kit. Again, I am not um, a professional um, digital graphic designer person. I am 100,000% self-taught. I just, um, that's probably why everything takes me so long, but that's okay. <laughs> I just try to make things that I like and that I know I would like to create with and that I think are pretty and have fun with it. And, you know, um, someone else, it may only take them a couple hours to pull some papers together and I take days and weeks and that's okay. I'm okay with that. That's also why I get started early with the Christmas um, because I have so many ideas at this time of the year of things I want to make and I got to get started early so I can show you guys in case it's something you're interested in making for the holiday season. Okay, so um, I've been given permission by one of my most loyal um subscribers that I can ink on camera. So I'm just kind of yapping while I ink. I spent a lot of time today, like I said, starting to prep this. And I really just wanted to, to film the video. I was really excited to get going. All right, I'm not gonna attach anything or glue anything just yet, but I am gonna play with some of the stars. This is kind of what I was thinking, and I don't know if I'm gonna like it, but let's see. Um, I've done, like I said, several, I've, I've already cut out several of the stars and I do like how they kind of, um, well, I may want one this color, um, how they, they layer together, it's kind of fun. Maybe we'll put that one down. And the sheet music is Jingle Bells. So, just to stay in theme, right? Um, and I'm trying to get these a little just off, offset. All right, that's just not working for me for some reason. Maybe this lighter yellow will. Okay, I think it's gonna be kind of different and fun and funky, and I think with some 
maybe even kind of like I did this one with a big fluff ribbon on there. It will definitely look cute. What I have to decide is do I want it closer to the top of my tree or do I want to stay with the idea I had of let's put it in the center. I'm even wondering, I think it's going to look better if I just use the one tree. I don't know. Um, sometimes I have the idea and then once I get going, I'm like, hmm, I like this a little better. Um, so if you're new to my channel, I've had um, quite a few new subscribers lately. Thank you guys. Thank you to those of you that have been with me for a long time and those that are new. Um, you're helping make my Silver Sparkles dreams come true, so, so thank you so much. Um, many of you know, if you've watched some of my older videos, I um, left a full-time career. Um, I worked for many, many years um, in the disability field, helping individuals with disabilities with employment. And I you know, very much believe in that work and that mission, but I had always had a dream to have a business that where I could do my art and be more creative. And over the years, the last several years, I worked towards that and then made the decision in February of this year, 2024, to um, Go for it, right? So here we are, and it's my first holiday season. Um, with my full-time crafting business, and you guys are just making it so much fun with um, by watching my videos and leaving me comments and letting me know you're out there. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm just really having a blast. So wonder if I'm going to like this even on one of the smaller trees. I don't know. This one's speaking to me, so we're going to stay with it. Um, we have so many choices here. I am thinking that I am going to hold these stars together. I've got some of these larger um, round gold brads. And I just think putting one right in the center will be fun. I'm still, oh, I'm still thinking about using some of my fluffy, some of my fluffy stuff. Um, and I'm just gonna use one of my big needles because I'm not quite sure where my paper piercer is. And this will work. So I'm just holding them very carefully together. And um, we're gonna just Yes, isn't that cute? Now, I'm probably going to, once I decide where I want it on the tree, I think I'm going to bring it up just a little. We're just going to go for it since I haven't been very um, decisive. Okay, so I went up to the first, the top third of the tree. And now we're going to, oh, it's cute, isn't it? Put this star that we made onto this tree. Now I do think let's find um let's find some words. The merry and bright I keep kind of keep being my go-to um to have yourself a merry little Christmas this week. Now the words I did some of them in um, a little bit different sizes. So you've got a couple um different sizes to choose from. And again, if you're, you know, don't be afraid of your printer. Um, I know it is intimidating sometimes and making it work. <laughs> sometimes mine gives me a little bit of a fit. I love my printer, but, um, you know, you really can print at different percentages and, and really get your digital kits um, to work for you. So don't be afraid to try different things. You know, just print one page in a different size and see, see what you think. Oh, how fun. All right, let's add, just because it's Christmas, let's add a little extra. This is one thing about this fluffy. I never know which end I need to pull from, and I definitely have an end that's hanging out that I don't I don't need. I'm wondering if I could do something cute there. Um, we'll try. On these others, I used several strands to make it really nice and fluffy. Let's see what this looks like with the one. Kind of tied around that gold brad. Yeah. <laughs> I'm happy with it. You know, 
sometimes more is more, but I think that's enough. And I think it's cute. It almost reminds me of like when we used to um, hang the icicles. Um, on the trees. So again, new to the channel, I'm using um, a white 90 pound weight cardstock. I have a lot of the supplies that I use linked to my Amazon store front. If that helps you, um, they are affiliate links, which means Amazon gives me a few pennies. If you make a purchase, it's no cost to you. Um, but again, don't, don't feel like you need to make a purchase. It's just to help you see the types of supplies I use. So my favorite papers, glues, scissors, all that stuff is there and just things that I like on Amazon. Okay, let's make another one. That one um, we, we only used one of the trees. We didn't end up doing a bunch of the layers. So I kind of wanted to layer some, and this is what I meant is I fixed a couple of little mistakes like that, <laughs> that the kit had not a problem. It happens. Let's do one of the fairies. I can't help myself. I love these. Um, but like I said, there's plenty of trees you could, um, put stickers on here, you know, at the holidays, there's really inexpensive stickers at like Hobby Lobby and Michael's, um, the Dollar Tree, places like that. And some of those might be really cute on these trees. You could use glitter. You could, um, again, use your liquid pearls. So many fun things to do to decorate these. Um, I had thought about trying to figure out a way to make little tiny ornaments, but then I stopped because I was like, I don't want to cut out a bunch of little tiny ornaments. Um, I liked fussy cut. I don't mind fussy cutting. These are super easy to cut out because the lines are all straight. But I was like, you know, no, I don't think I need that in my life. <laughs> so let me show you how I did the one where I connected it with an eyelet and um, they kind of spin just a little bit. I was also thinking it might be fun to make a little, um, take some of the words and make a little dangle. So maybe we'll do that too, because I haven't done that yet. And this way too, you can kind of, if they, they kind of spin and turn instead of just gluing them down flat, you can see the layers, which I like. I like that. All right. Getting out all my crazy here. Um, again, if you've been around, I need to invest for myself in a new um, new one of these, a new crop of dial. Mine is just acting a little wild, but I just don't want to spend the money when I have my old silent setter that works just fine. So you'll see me use multiple tools where the whole point of the crop -a dial was to be able to have one tool that would do all the things, right? All right, so I'm just using a little eyelet. Cute, I did a better job centering this one than I did the first one I did earlier. Um, very sweet. All right, so this is old school Pam's years of scrapbooking coming back. All right. Um, and what I was thinking that would be cute if I can find them is to add some of these words ha, with one of these little bulb pens and, and a dangle. And we might even, I don't want to do a huge, huge piece of metal here. You know, I don't want it to be too heavy. But I think in here are some little tiny keys, like a small one. And that might be cute. Maybe like this heart. That looks sweet, the one with the flower. Anyway, I love having um, lots of little dangles and things. So let's try this and see. And again, I get most of these types of um, supplies on Amazon. So if you're in the market, you can look there. All right, let's pick a couple of the words. And like I said, these um, come in the kit at different sizes. One of the strips, though, I think I did a little better about leaving some space 
um, kind of before the word starts so that you can, if you want to make a dangle like this, it's a little bit easier. So I'll show you what I mean. So I left space, beginning of piece, and believe. All right, and then we're gonna have the little key. And how about we use a portion of one of our strips here? Um, I'm going to just add a little bit of color. I'm gonna cut a piece that's probably uh, a little more maybe, maybe a touch more than a quarter of an inch or not quite a quarter of an inch, I don't know. I'm gonna make it be, for now, two and a half inches long. I can always trim it off later. Had a little bit of the green and I just sort of wanted this touch, this kind of rusty red color. All right. And we'll do that. We could even do like a little piece of ribbon if we wanted to. Let me see if any of my ribbons, maybe this one would look cute. Again, if we don't like something, we can not, not put it in there. All right, so this is what we're going to do. I am going to, since I picked a gold eyelet, I'm going to do a little gold bulb pen. These are some of my favorites. And I'm gonna punch a hole on these. I'm gonna try to line them up. Oops, I better ink this first. You know, I gotta stay consistent. I inked the words, so we'll ink this strip of paper. All right, so I'm gonna hold it so I get believe in peace. I'm gonna trim peace off just a touch so that it's a little shorter than believe. So you can see there's another one under there. Now these are gonna move around on the pen, but all right. And I'm gonna punch the hole, hopefully, just like that. Find my little pen. All right, so I'm gonna do the little key first because it'll be on the top. And then peace, believe, oh, if I can hold on to what I'm doing. And again, I haven't done this for this project, so hopefully everything's going to work out. It didn't go all the way through that layer, so I'm just going to stick it through. <laughs> and same with the ribbon, just kind of stick it through. And we're going to pin it on and see if we like it. Yeah, that's cute, like a little dangle. It might have done better if my eyelid had been up some, but I think I'm okay with it. I'm all right with it. Um, I'm kind of missing the fluffy. Should we tie a tiny piece of the fluffy if we can on that bulb pin? Let's see if it will work. Let's see. And again, you don't have to have all of these supplies to make yours look great. Just use what you have and let your imagination run wild. All right. Yep, I think this is gonna help because it's a Christmas tree. And having some kind of fun little fluffy at the top, of course, is gonna make it look that much better. What else? Uh, you know what would be cute? Let's see if we can add a little, I'm gonna tie this into a bow if I can. This is not the easiest stuff to tie because all of the different little fibers, you know, get pulled into your little bow, but there. I like that a little bit better than it just hanging off. It's just like a little fluff, a little ball of fluff. Um, and we've got those words. Let's see. What else we have? How about we take, this is a little bit smaller. We'll do Christmas and glue it on. 
And then I was thinking about adding a little something to her. I'm gonna put Christmas down here. And see how you can just start playing? And I think this would be a project too, you know, if you have kids or grandkids, this might be fun to do, um, you know, with the kids. Let everybody cut their trees out, cut their stars out, and um, whatever, you know, whatever they're in the mood for. So I probably could have put a star on there too. That would have been cute, but I didn't, and we're gonna stop. <laughs> All right, so we made this one. I'm really happy with this tree and this one together, but I have a whole collection. And cutting them out is probably what took me the longest. I mean, it wasn't hard, but um, once, once the pieces are cut out, they're so easy. They come together so nicely. So I hope you will give this project a try. Um, go take a look at the kit. It's on Etsy. Um, and if you're interested in, in the little faux washi strips, go grab those on Buy Me A Coffee. Um, if you are gonna buy the kit, you don't have to download the freebie unless you just want to because it's included when you buy it on Etsy. Okay, guys, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Have a great day. Till next time.